Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 22 rebuild. In today's episode, we're going to be rebuilding the Dallas Cowboys, but without Amari Cooper and Demarcus Lawrence. For those of you guys who have not heard, Amari Cooper is expected to hit either free agency or get traded. It is very likely to happen, but Demarcus Lawrence, I think it is almost certain he's going to end up getting cut from the team. I don't think they're going to end up trading him. But I think they will end up trading Amari Cooper rather than just letting him hit free agency. So I'm going to trade away Amari Cooper and I'm going to cut Demarcus Lawrence in this. So first things first, let's go to Demarcus Lawrence. He's a 91 overall, but he has a huge cap hit. Yeah, so the $24 million cap hit, it would save them money if they went through this year. But of course, Madden does not progress through the year. So I'm going to have to purposely take down his contract so that way I don't take this massive cap penalty because in real life, what would happen is the Cowboys would save a lot of money. I don't know how much specifically. So I am going to intentionally take down this cap hit. So that way he is not um, getting paid a mass amount. Let's just say he's in the fifth year of his contract. So that way, um, yeah, we don't have to take as much of a cap hit. Hit save changes here. Take down that money. Because in real life, they would save a significant amount of money by cutting Demarcus Lawrence. So yeah, this seems more reasonable. We would save six million so he's off the team now looking into it for amari cooper though i'm gonna out the gate trade him here i think um what would be the best team for him work with me finally amari cooper in a third round pick gets me jalen johnson and the projected number one overall pick next year from the chicago bears so that is huge Getting that. We got CD Lamb, Michael Gallup still. Michael Gallup will most likely hit free agency, so I'm not going to re-sign him for that reason. Or actually, they may cut... I don't know. I don't know about Michael Gallup. I think they might keep him because of the cut with Demarcus Lawrence. That might be huge. So there's that. And then Zeke, obviously, here. Tony Pollard. Changing schemes. It's vertical zone run is what I always want. And base 4-3 is what I want for the team. And yeah, okay, we got Dak Prescott here. My personal opinion, Cowboys fans, if you want to cry about it, Dak Prescott is a great QB. I have him as my 11th best QB for my QB rankings. I don't think he's a top 10 QB. Some people will consider him to be top five. I don't really think Dak is that good because you've given him so many weapons and so many opportunities to be good, and he just doesn't come up with the win. For those of you guys saying, oh, it's the coaching, it's the coaching. You have Zeke, you have Tony Pollard, you had Amari Cooper, CeeDee Lamb, Michael Gallup. Dalton Schultz is actually a solid tight end. Whenever the O-line is healthy, it's pretty good. Troy, uh, is it Troy Smith? No, it's not. Yeah, it's Tyron Smith. Whenever he's healthy, it's a good thing, but he's not usually healthy. He's injured a lot most of the time. But for the most part, whenever you guys even have Tra Travis, Fred eh, Travis Frederick at center, like your O-line was at least top five in the NFL and you couldn't perform. Like it was... It was very irritating to say the least to see Dak Prescott perform at this kind of a level with this many weapons and this kind of a team. This dude should have zero, and I mean zero issue performing, and he still struggles. I don't I don't know why. I would say in Madden, I would give him a superstar dev and make him like an 85 overall. I don't think he's a 90 overall X factor. If you want to uh, shove his stats in my face, that's fine. I just don't think he is as good as he is. People say remember that overrated does not mean he is a bad player overrated just means i think he's severely overhyped for what he's done i don't see very many wins or anything with him and i don't i mean yes of course he wins a lot Pe people are gonna bend my words i'm trying to maneuver this without seeming like an asshole to dak prescott he has the wins he has the stats i just i can't see him winning a super bowl that's the summary i'm trying to put together here I can't see Dak Prescott ever winning a Super Bowl. That's just my personal take on it. Zeke, um, I would rather have Pollard in real life, but in Madden, Zeke's an absolute freak. So I'm going to keep him there. Defensively looking into it, D-line without Demarcus Lawrence isn't great, but now that they have Micah Parsons, it is great. I believe he should have superstar development at least after having the rookie of the year. So let's go to left end, move him down there. That would be better for the team. Defensively, he's at the left end, 88 overall. Keanu Neal, I forgot, moved to linebacker. Leighton Vander Ash, Malik Hooker. Uh, Demonte Kazi is not going to be here for a long time. Trayvon Diggs, I don't know why he is a superstar. Everyone hypes this man up so much. I would much rather have someone like AJ Terrell over 
Tra uh, Trayvon Diggs. Yes. Does he have a lot of picks? Yes. But do you, he let up over a thousand yards? That's not acceptable. I'd much rather have a lockdown DB that takes a player out of the play than have a um, than have a ball hawk DB. It's just that simple. Jordan Lewis probably won't be on this team. Yeah, they probably won't end up re-signing him, honestly. We got Jalen Johnson now, so that's huge. Jermaine Curse. Cool. I like what we have for this team for the future. Very good offense. And Madden, I know Dak is going to be a beast, but in real life, I honestly don't like him that much. But let's get to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 3-3 three three top of the division. Let's choose the auto-generated draft class here. Left tackle at the top of the board. That's interesting. Let's see what else we got here. Players ready to negotiate, not scout college players, please. Back out of that. Meant to hit players ready to negotiate. I'm sure Cowboys fans have already clicked off this video because after what I said about Dak Prescott, because they get worked up over nothing. Michael Gallup. I do want to resign him now that we've cut Demarcus Lawrence and we have Mari Cooper gone, so he's gonna be resigned. Randy Gregory, I don't want. He's he's already starting regression. Cowboys will resign him in real. I'm not gonna pay you 11 million a year. I'm not gonna do that. Randy Gregory is gonna get traded immediately. I'm actually gonna give him the skill points that way he's a higher overall and has more trade value. So we're gonna do that and look to replace him. Go to trade away. And what do we want here? Two and a six for Randy Gregory. That completely works for me. He's going to start regression. He won't make it to an 85 overall. Leighton Vander Ash is a player I want back as well. Spread out that money. Spread out the years and he resigns. Jermaine Curse. Uh, J-Ron Curse, not Jermaine Curse. J-Ron Curse, no. Malik Hooker. If he could stay healthy, this guy's a really good player. But I do want him back considering that injuries are turned off. Uh, Kazi, no. Cedric Wilson. Cedric Wilson's actually pretty good in real life. But in Madden, no. Connor Williams, no. Keanu Neal, no. Because he turns 27 and the next year he'll start regression. I don't think he'll even make it to an 80 overall. Everyone else here is a no. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs, finishing 10 and 7, taking the division as we're coming off a loss to the Eagles. But we get home field advantage over the Buccaneers. Let's see the stats and awards here for this year. Dak was amazing. MVP candidate, probably Lamar wins league MVP. Elliott at five. Does Dak not even place? Dak doesn't even place. Elliott over Dak. Best offense in the NFL, defensively looking into it. Come on. 22nd, that makes total sense. <laughs> not really, I was being sarcastic for those of you Cowboys fans. 5,000 yards, 35 TDs, 14 interceptions. Pretty good year. Pretty great year, actually. Uh, Zeke, 24 TDs, 4.8 per carry, 1,400 yards. Maybe I'll just switch to a running scheme. I mean, we have the number one offense, so probably not. CD's nuts, 1,400 yards, 8 TDs. Cedric Wilson, 9 TDs, 1,000 yards. If he gets a dev up, I will definitely resign him. Michael Gallup, 1,000 yards, 7 TDs. Schultz, 10 TDs, almost 900 yards. Looking into it defensively, Keanu Neal with the most tackles on the team, tackles for a loss, 19 for Micah Parsons, sacks, 17 for Micah Parsons, interception, 6 for Trayvon Diggs, 3 for Leighton Vander Esch. Trayvon's probably going to get X-Factor, 0 safety, 0 defensive touchdowns. So, very good year for the defense, even though it says 22nd. Let's look at the points per game, that's what matters. Defensive points per game is 13th, that's what matters. So our defense is actually ranked 13th, I would say. I care about the points per game. I don't care about the yards let up. It's about how many points we give up because points determine a game. So let's see if we can beat the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to move on to the divisional round. And we can't, losing 31 to 24, unfortunately. Pretty sure they have Kyle Trask. I'm pretty sure Kyle Trask literally just beat us. If I can actually look at the correct roster and not my own roster, that would be very useful. NFL rosters, scroll up to Buccaneers and Taysom Hill okay Taysom Hill just beat us nice let's move into the offseason and Taysom Hill wins Super Bowl MVP and beats the Browns in the Super Bowl all right then okay sure why not uh, Micah Parsons wins rookie of the year like he did in real life let's look at the roster to see if we have any development upgrades Parsons should be an x-factor Zeke is an x-factor CD's nuts, stays the same. Schultz is now a star dead player. Um, let's go down here. I actually want to... Do I want to just go all Zeke scheme? I mean, we had the number one offense, so I'm not going to change that. Micah Parsons, 94 overall X factor after one year. Keanu Neal is a superstar, but I'm still not going to trade him. Van Der Ash got superstar dev. 
Trayvon Diggs, I was surprised he didn't get X Factor, but it is what it is. Neville Gallimore, I'm going to move up in the death chart. And yeah, apart from that, we're going to go to the resign players here. Keanu Neal, I don't want, as I just mentioned. And I'm not going to resign him just because he has superstar dev. He turns 28 in the next season, which is whenever regression starts. So I'm not going to even bother with him. 2021 retirement. Ugh, I'm yawning because of this division. NFC East, Jason Kelsey retires. Unfortunate that we can't snag him in free agency. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we have here. Dalton Schultz, I didn't even know he was here. Of course, I want him back. Had a pretty good year with us. 10 touchdowns, almost 900 yards, and he resigns. Uh, Cedric Wilson didn't get a dev up, unfortunately, so I'm not going to resign him, even though he should get a dev up. Connor Williams. Oh, that's interesting. 77 overall isn't even bad. I'll take that. I'll resign Connor Williams. He resigns. Everyone else here. Ben Denucci. Of course, we got to resign the GOAT. Put him on a five year deal. Resign that GOAT, and he's here forever. Ben Denucci. Anyways, now it is time to move into free agency. Here we are after free agency, picking up Young Way Koo because Greg Zerline is regressing. J.K. Scott as a punter, and Bryce Huff as a rotational defensive end. Just got him on a really cheap deal. So I like that. I went after Von Miller and Ryan Jensen, and I put the most money on both of them. But they decided not to sign with me, which is very irritating when you put the most amount of money on both of them. Uh, Von Miller went to the Steelers, who didn't make the playoffs, and Jensen went to the Jets, who didn't make the playoffs. They don't want to be on a winning team with more money. It makes no sense. Let's get to the draft. In the draft, we're picking up a linebacker, Zach Orr, uh, or Ower. Zach Orr, six foot six, 257 pounds, right outside linebacker. I saw the A power moves, B finesse moves, B block shedding, B awareness. He looks to be a pass rusher, but I'll just keep him out right outside linebacker for now. In the second round, I'm picking up Rashard Windsor, defensive tackle out of Miami, 6'3", 304, hidden development, 89 strength, seems to be a pretty solid second round pick. Here we are with the overlook of the team after the draft. Offensively, we look the same. Hackett is my third round pick. He honestly doesn't even look that bad. And looking into the defensive side of the ball, or is a 73 overall. What is his manus? Hit power, acceleration 87, power moves 82, finesse moves, play rack. Zone coverage sucks, man coverage sucks. So he is an edge rusher, he's a power rusher. I don't, I don't want to put him over Huff. I'll just leave him there. Windsor is not even bad. I'm going to start Windsor over Gallimore. Do that. I like that. I'm going to leave Orr there. Wilson, Defu. Like all that specialist. Start Windsor. Go here, go here. Huff is going to stay there. Like all that. Vander Ash, Cox, Shepard. I'm going to move there. Right. Mike Price, Lewis. Cool. Got all that. I like what we're rocking with. So apart from that, guys, let's move in to the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-2, top of the division, coming off a shutout win to the Indianapolis Colts. Players ready to negotiate. Let's see what we got here. Tony Pollard. Um, that's actually really cheap. I'll do that. Usually second string running backs aren't useful in Madden, but considering how cheap it is, I want to keep them. Everyone else is useless. I don't want anyone else there. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs coming off a win to the Panthers as we are 11 and 6 top of the division here to face the 10 and 7 Saints. Looking into the stats and awards, Dak was amazing. That should be the MVP season for him. Not even top three, but he had 13th pass rating, best, most touchdowns, and most passing yards. But all right. Best offense in the NFL, 22nd best defense, copy and paste of last year, 4,500 yards, 49 TDs, 16 interceptions. That was honestly a lot worse season than last season. I think he had a less completion percentage this year. More interceptions, less touchdowns, I think. Well, a little bit more touchdowns and more passing yards, so it's debatable. Zeke, 22 touchdowns, 5.4 per carry, 1,500 yards, amazing year. CD's nuts, 1,600 yards, 13 TDs. That should be a dev up. Michael Gallup, 1,200 yards, 5 TDs. Isaiah Wright, the slot receivers, always get a lot of targets. He was very good. Schultz, 721 yards and 14 TDs. That should be superstar for getting 14 TDs. I'll force it up there because with tight ends, you can't make them go from a star to superstar. You have to forcefully do it yourself. Leighton Van Der Esch, most tackles on team. Tackles for a loss. 16 for Michael Parsons. Sacks, set 17 for Michael Parsons. And Huff with eight and a half. Huff was actually very good. I signed up on a stupid cheap deal. And yeah, that's, that's pretty good. I like that. Interceptions, four for Trayvon Diggs. 
safeties on the team is zero defensive touchdowns is one for donovan wilson the strong safety so let's see if we can beat the new orleans saints to move on to the divisional round and can we do it please let's see it we can 28 to 25 here to face the 10 and 7 seattle seahawks to move on to the conference championship and we do 38 to 17 let's see if we can beat the minnesota vikings to move on to the super bowl and beat them out here and here we are against the vikings as it is three to nothing right now very low scoring 10 to nothing 10 to 7 as soon as i say low scoring we uh, immediately jump in points 17 to 14 24 to 14 Come on, we had a good drive there. Come on, 31 to 14, 31 to 21, 31 to 24. Yep, yeah, that's gonna do it. 31, 24, we're gonna go to the Super Bowl as we beat the Vikings and Kirk Cousins. We had a pretty good game. Uh, only worse passer rating than Kirk Cousins because we were two touchdowns, two interceptions. All right then, let's move to the Super Bowl. Here we are on the Super Bowl here to face the 10 and seven Kansas City Chiefs. This is the two typical Super Bowl in Madden simulation. Uh, looking into the upgrades, CD's Nuts gets an upgrade. Dalton Schultz, he just got 14 touchdowns and had 10 touchdowns the previous year. I'm going to force him to superstar dev. He deserves it. Great tight end. Not much more to say about that. He had a lot of targets too and a lot of receptions. So he's there. I'm surprised Michael Gallup doesn't get dev ups, but I think it's because the low touchdown rate for him. Looking into it defensively or is only a star dev. Avery, do do and Windsor is only a star dev as well but it looks like he's the better pick considering he's a higher overall by this time i mean technically he's starting in this rush defensive tackle position michael parsons is a 99 overall and huff is an 80 overall i got this dude on a stupid cheap deal i'm glad i started him super glad i got him what's his contract per year i know it's really dumb cheap yeah four million a year each and every year for five years and he's very very young very good yeah of course i want him why not let's get into the super bowl against the kansas city chiefs to see if we can win within only the second year here we are against the kansas city chiefs as they start with the ball first seven to nothing against the chiefs seven to seven now 14 to seven both high powered offenses here 14 to 14 okay they're going to take their first lead at 21 to 14 we can't make a drive 28 to 14 for the chiefs 28 to 21 35 to 21 i don't like this late yeah that's gonna be it that's for sure gonna be it we're gonna lose 38 to 21 as soon as i saw our drive stop i knew it was over patrick mahomes is gonna win again we're gonna lose the super bowl this is still considered a successful reboot because we did make it to the super bowl so let's move to the offseason travis kelsey wins super bowl mvp and there are no cowboys here for the yearly awards still a successful reboot as i mentioned before because we did make it to the super bowl still gonna play two more seasons as well Looking into the roster, we already know the upgrades because I already did it before. So I'm not going to bother with that. We're going to move into the resign players here to see the retirements and who we have to resign. And I believe I didn't want to resign anybody. I believe I resigned Tony Pollard. That's all I wanted if this game will ever load at any point in year. And it does. 2022 retirements. Let's look into the NFC East. Antonio Brown retires as a Jaguar. That's interesting. NFC East, nobody retires. That's fine. Looking into the players ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. Um, nobody of any interest at all. So how much money do we have? We have 30 million to spend. Let's hit free agency. After free agency, we ended up picking up JC Treader, 85 overall and a pretty cheap deal. Not necessarily cheap, but a little bit cheaper than what he was asking. Jordan Poyer on a cheap deal though. Very, very solid free agency. So let's move into the draft. In the draft, at pick number four in the draft with the Bears pick that we traded for, Damian Harris. Normal dev, 93 speed. Unfortunate. I know it says D catching traffic and C kick return. I saw the A catching and he was a top five prospect, so I thought it would be good enough. He will be a solid slot player still, but for pick number four, I think that's a bust. And with my other first round pick, at pick 31, I pick a better receiver than at pick number four, Emmett Beal. Hidden dev, 91 speed, six foot five out of Texas. Looks a lot better than the previous pick I just had. So that is unfortunate. So this is the team after the draft. Beal is a 71 overall. So it looks like Damian, Damian Harris is the better pick than Beal. Okay. He was, he was the better pick. He just didn't have the development. So I'm going to move Beal up, actually. Move Beal up. See how far he can progress. He's going to be a fourth string receiver. Back-to-back -back receivers. I don't know if that was the right pick. Specialist. Harris is going to be there. Beal is going to be a second string in the slot. 
Windsor is going to start and Huff or got all that defensively. Malik Walker. I like everything we got. Got Jordan Poyer. We can make another Super Bowl run in this season. I believe we can. So let's move into the midseason mark. Here we are at the midseason mark as we are 5-2, second in the division behind the 5-1 Eagles as we're coming off a loss to the Jets, unfortunately. Players are ready to negotiate. Let's see who we have here. Tyron Smith would be huge. We need that back. Since the injury is turned off, it does make it a lot easier. Here he signs CD's nuts. I need him back as well. I didn't account for Trayvon Diggs and CD Lamb to be here. CD Lamb should have a fifth year option because he was a first round pick. So I'm actually going to give that to him because EA doesn't give you fifth year options anymore. Jalen Johnson, I'm going to want back. Or maybe Jordan Lewis too, even though I said I didn't want him earlier. CD Lamb's getting a fifth year because he should have a fifth year option. Just EA doesn't allow it anymore for some reason. So I'm not going to do that. Go to the fifth year option. So with Jalen Johnson, um, yeah, I'll have to resign him later because, yeah, we don't have the cap room for him right now just because I signed CD Lamb and it says I have certain cap to pay when I don't because it's a fifth year option. I deserve one on him because he is a first round pick. And EA, again, doesn't allow you to do fifth year options for some reason. So let's move to the playoffs. Here we are in the playoffs as we actually made the playoffs 14 and three top of the division, stealing a first seed and Eagles get the fifth seed because they didn't take the division. I hate that, bro. Eagles are 13 and four. They should probably be the second seed, but since they didn't win the division, they don't get really any good seed. Uh, best offensive points per game, best passing game, 10th best rushing game, best defensive points per game, 12th best passing defense, and fifth best rushing defense. Amazing year, stats and awards. Let's see what we got here. Dak was amazing again. Sure, you won't get MVP because that's just how uh, EA simulation works. Dak is third for MVP. Best offense in the entire league and defensively seventh best defense. 4,900 yards, almost 5,000 yards, 40 TDs, 7 interceptions, 71% completion percentage. Probably his best year yet in my opinion. Zeke, 1,500 yards, 5.0 per carry, 20 TDs. CD's nuts, 1,300 yards, 6 TDs. Michael Gallup, 13 TDs, uh, 1,100 yards. Damian Harris, the first round pick, 980 yards, 6 TDs. Schultz, 10 TDs, 900 yards. Beal, only 200 yards and three touchdowns. He wasn't really in the rotation that much. He only had 11 receptions. Looking into the defense, Leighton Vander Ash, 136 tackles, tackles for a loss, 16 for Micah Parsons, sacks, 25 for Micah Parsons, 8 for Huff. Micah Parsons is a legend. Interceptions, 6 for Jalen Johnson, 4 for Trayvon Diggs. Safeties on the team is going to be 1 for Micah Parsons and 1 for Bryce Huff, who's been amazing. Defensive touchdowns, 0. So apart from that, guys, it is now time to move in to the divisional round to see who we're going to be playing because obviously we have the first round wild card bye. Oh, all Cowboys fans must hate this playing the Niners at their home stadium. Ring a bell. 9-8 49ers smack them 35 to 3. Um, I'm going to let the CPU play this one out because we've already won the conference championship and I will hop into the Super Bowl because we've lost it. 42 to 2. They apparently safetyed us at one point, but we smacked them and we're going to be playing the Steelers who stole, I believe they stole Von Miller from me or Ryan Jensen, one of the two. I'll look at that because I remember one of them went to the Steelers and it pissed me off. So let's quickly look at that Steelers. Did they get the center Ryan Jensen or no, they got... Uh, they definitely got Von Miller, didn't they? Yep, they got Von Miller, the guy that I desperately wanted. As he is a Super Bowl player now, let's look in to the team to see what we got here as we got Dak Prescott, Beal. Harris does not get an upgrade? What? Harris was actually very good for a rookie. What was his touchdown? Six. I won't give him that because he didn't get double digit touchdowns or a thousand yards. Beal, still don't know his development for some reason. I'm just going to look at it. He didn't really get that many reps. That's why. So I'm just going to look at it because why not? It's the end of the season. So... We have Star on Beal. That's fine. Looking into the defensive side of the ball. Trayvon Diggs now has Superstar X Factor, even though Jalen Johnson had more interceptions. Jordan Poyer is an 85 overall, which is surprising. I thought he would be regressing more and more. Jordan Lewis, no. Yeah, everyone else seems pretty good here. And it looks like Windsor is an 88 overall with the plus six boost, so technically an 82. Let's see if we can beat the Pittsburgh Steelers in the Super Bowl and prevent them from getting 
their seventh Super Bowl ring, and let's get our sixth Super Bowl ring. And here we are in the Super Bowl against the Pittsburgh Steelers as it is 0-0, zero zero, just constantly punting. There it is, 3-0. First points were scored in the second quarter, 3-7 against the Steelers. And what do we got here? 3-14 against the Steelers, 6-14, 6-21, 6-24, 6-25, 6-26, 6-27, 6-28, 6-29, 6-30, 6-31, 6-32, 6-33, 6-34, 6-35, 6-36, 6-37, 6-38, 6-39, 6-40, 6-41, 6-42, 6-43, 6-44, 6-45, 6-46, 6-47, 6-48, 6-49, 6-50, 6-51, 6-52, 6-53, 6-54, 6-55, 6-56, 6-57, 6-58, 6-59, 6-60, 6-61, 6-62, 6-63, 6-64, 6-65, 6-66, 6-67, 6-68, 6-69, 6-70, 6-71, 6-72, 6-73, 6-74, 6-75, 6-76, 6-77, 6-78, 6-79, 6-80, 6-81, 6-82, 6-83, 6-84, 6-85, 6-86, 6-87, 6-88, 6-89, 6-90, 6-91, 6-92, 6-93, 6-94, 6-95, 6-96, 6-97, 6-98, 6-99, 6-100, 6-101, 6-102, 6-103, 6-104, 6-105, 6-106, 6-107, 6-108, 6-109, 6-110, 6-111, 6-112, 6-113, 6-114, 6-115, 6-116, 6-117, 6-118, 6-119, 6-120, 6-121, 6-122, 6-123, 6-124, 6-125, 6-126, 6-127, 6-128, 6-129, 6-130, 6-131, 6-132, 6-133, 6-134, 6-135, 6-136, 6-137, 6-138, 6-139, 6-140, 6-141, 6-142, 6-143, 6-144, 6-145, 6-146, 6-147, 6-148, 6-149, 6-150, 6-151, 6-152, 6-153, 6-154, 6-155, 6-156, 6-157, 6-158, 6-159, 6-160, 6-170, 6-171, 6-172, 6-173, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 6-174, 
okay? Then lower seeds are just, yeah, the lower seeds except for the Saints are beating the higher seeds. And then the fourth seed, okay, interesting. I could play the fourth seed or the sixth seed here, I hope. Um, no, I'm playing the fourth seed. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, let's see if we're going to move on to the Super Bowl. Beat the Vikings again. No, the Saints. We beat the Saints, not the Vikings. Now we're here to face the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. Wow. We just went to the Super Bowl three years in a row. And we haven't won one of them yet. But let's look in the roster to see if there is any development upgrades. Oh, offensively, Zeke is a 99. Dak is in a 99 yet. Apparently, the CPU just knows how to pick better than me because Amari Bayer is a receiver that the CPU picked up in the draft. I just picked the first and second round and simulated the draft. What development are you? Your star. I've never, never seen these guys, but I guess they're on the team now because they made the cuts and other players didn't. We got quite the receiving core. I'll tell you that. Is he a star as well? Yeah, Amari. Our new Amari. His name is Amari Miles. Interesting. I like that name. CD Lamb is now a 99 overall superstar X Factor. Dalton Schultz is an X Factor as well. That is cool. Defensively looking into it. Or um, Jalen Johnson. What do we got? We got all these other things here. Nobody else got upgraded. That's fine. Very cool receiving core. Let's see if we can beat the Kansas City Chiefs in the Super Bowl or just go 0-3 in the Super Bowl. Let's get into it. And here we are in the Super Bowl here to face the Kansas City Chiefs, obviously. 7 to nothing. What else do we got? We got 7 to 7 in the second quarter. 14 to 7. And 17 to 7 is going to be at halftime. 14 to 17. 14 to 20. 17 to 20. 23 to 17. Come on. 23 to 17. We finally win a Super Bowl beating the Kansas City Chiefs. 23 to 17 officially in a successful rebuild it kind of already was but finally we win it and take it home very similar stats to patrick mahomes overall zeke will probably win super bowl mvp and that will do it for this video and for this rebuild as it is a successful one without amari cooper and demarcus lawrence as we replace them quite quickly so let's just move in to the off season to see the super bowl mvp and the yearly awards Looking into the 2024 season recap, Micah Parsons wins Super Bowl MVP. There are no awards here, yearly awards for any Dallas Cowboys players. This is going to be the final overlook of the team just to commemorate it. Why not? Very good offense, very good defense as well. Very solid defense, I would say. Nothing ridiculous. I built way better defenses than this, and they would just never win a Super Bowl. So anyways, guys, apart from that, I thank you guys all for watching. Tell me which team you'd like me to rebuild next, and I'll see you guys all in the next one.